This is Dinner Date, the show where people hope to find true love through their love of good food. But this is a dinner date with a difference. The main could be quite fiery, which is right up my street. One lucky celebrity will be getting the chance to find romance as they enjoy three very special meals cooked for them by three very special blind dates. I wonder if it's going to serenade me. Today's celebrity dinner date is 35-year-old former Miss Wales model and TV personality Imogen Thomas. I'm quite an outdoor person. I'm outgoing, I'm fun, I love horse riding, I love spending time with my children, I love going out with my friends, I love going dancing, I love drinking, the list can go on. I like to do all sorts of things in my spare time. So, a woman of many talents, something the former Big Brother contestant is keen to get across. When I meet people, they think they know me because, obviously, um, I'm in the public eye, but it's not the case, you know. I'm a very deep person and there's a lot to me than what you see. Imogen's recently single, so what's she looking for to get her back in the saddle? I definitely have high standards when it comes to men. I like a guy who's got a good job, who can take care of himself. Um, who can wine and dine me. That is so important. So she's looking for a gentleman in a date, but what does she like on her plate? I'm quite a spicy person, so anything from a curry to a stir-fry. Even if I have bland food in front of me, I would always add spice. She's a real hottie, this one. Imogen's going to be given five menus, each put together by a potential blind date. The five men behind the menus have all come up with a three-course meal, but Imogen will only be having dinner with three of them. She'll choose her dates based on the menu she most likes the look of. So, who are the men behind the menus? OK, so menu number one. So I think my mates have described me as maybe a loose cannon at times, a um, bit of a lad, a genuine bloke who's up for a laugh and likes to do crazy stuff. Menu one is from 40-year-old construction manager and hashtag lad, Chris. Will his fishy starter, Mexican main and cheesecake pud lead to a game of footsie with Imogen? OK, so for starter, we've got Kevin ceviche with tackling tostadas. I love ceviche, but I'm just not sure about someone cooking it for me at home. I just think it's a bit of a gamble. For main course, strike a steak, chicken and minced fajitas with homemade goalie guacamole. So I love fajitas, but I'm just not too sure about mixing a bit of steak and mince with it. Saying that, I love guacamole always. For dessert, I've got volley in, vanilla New York style cup winning cheesecake. So I love cheesecake. I think cheesecake's a winner. I think this guy could be a sport player. He maybe comes from Mexico. So, menu number two. I am a bit of a flirt, but at the end of the day, it's part of, I don't know, of, of human nature as well. So a little bit of flirt, it never hurts anyone, as I would say. 38-year-old customer service advisor Desmond is behind menu two. He's offering a savoury cake to start, a taste of the Caribbean for main and cake to finish. But will it be enough to tempt Imogen? For the main, pick yourself up and fry again. Calypso rice with marinated roasted chicken, cassa reap sauce and fried plantain. Cassa reap sauce, isn't that like a hot sauce? That could be quite nice. A 24-carat dessert homemade carrot cake with cream cheese frosting. I absolutely hate carrot cake. Yeah, but I think the main course could be quite fiery, which is right up my street. I think this guy is from the Caribbean, maybe. So, menu number three... I have been really ambitious at tennis for the past 12, 13 years. Just fell in love with the sport, um, and that is what love does. It draws you in. Menu three is from 34-year-old chauffeur David. He's serving up a classic 80s starter, fishy pasta for main and a fruity pud for afters. But will Imogen want to see his favourite stroke after seeing this menu? The ball's in your court, prawn cocktail. Quite simple to make. 
And then for dessert, game, set and match, raspberry roulade with strawberry ice cream. Not really fussed on raspberry, I find it a little bit bitter. I think this guy could be a tennis player. OK, so menu number four. My party trick has changed now that I'm a teacher. I used to get naked a lot, uh, which now, looking back, isn't funny or good for anyone, so I, I don't do any more. The fourth menu comes from 32-year-old green-fingered English teacher Niall. He's laying on a vegan feast with his faux meat and veggie skewers, burrito mane and ice cream pud. But will this be enough to sow the seeds of love? For main, roasted chickpea and broccoli burritos with spicy vegan chicken. Can you get vegan chicken? <laughs> I suppose you could, cos vegan and vegetarian are different, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And for dessert, oh-so-sweet homemade ice cream with a medley of chocolate-dipped fruits. That sounds good. Like, I like vegan food, but sometimes it can just be a little bit bland. So, menu number five. One of the strangest reasons I've had a relationship end is centred around my tattoos. I have several girls. One's got too much for one girl and she said she can't take it anymore and she felt jealous of all the cartoons on my body. The fifth and final menu is from 36-year-old business intelligence manager and semi-professional musician Nick. Will Imogen be up for plucking his cords with his fish cake starter, Thai curry main and boozy chocolate encore? Rehearsal time, head banging homemade Thai fish cakes with sweet chilli dipping sauce. I love fish cakes and sweet chilli dipping sauce. The headline act, chocolate and orange ganache with a splash of rock and roll rum. I'm not particularly fussed on alcohol desserts. Maybe he's a singer. If I picked him, maybe he could sing to me one night. Imogen seen all five menus on offer, but which three have taken her fancy? I'm going to go for menu one, menu two and five. So, Imogen has chosen menu one from Chris, menu two from Desmond and menu five from Nick. Over the next three nights, Imogen will meet each of the men behind the menus she's chosen. They'll all be making her a slap-up three-course meal, but who will she want to see for seconds at the end of the week? First to cook for Imogen is 40-year-old construction manager, Chris. I'm quite a confident guy. Don't think of myself anything special, but you could throw me in a room with 100 people that I didn't know. I'd come out knowing 99 of them. Blimey! Despite being a friendly chap, Chris has been single for three years, so what type of girl tickles his pickle? Personality is a massive key. I need someone that's the same as me. No drama, no mental exes. Someone I can go out and have a good laugh with. Can't stand people that are above their station uh, and no farting. Fingers crossed there's no blowing off tonight. When Imogen saw Chris's football-themed menu, she thought his ceviche starter was a gamble, but thought his cheesecake was a winner. She guessed her date might be sporty, so will they both need saving tonight or bag themselves a keeper? Chris kicks off with dessert, New York-style vanilla cheesecake, and he starts by bashing biscuits for his base. First go at cooking a three-course meal in my life. First go at pretty much everything I'm doing tonight as well, so fingers crossed. Thank killer. Let's hope not. Oh, I'm gonna have to completely blake this. Let's go with a gut feeling, eh? Or just stick to the recipe. He adds melted butter, quick mix, presses into individual portions and into bake. Topping next, a mix of cream cheese, sugar, vanilla essence, gets a mix and thoughts turn to the night ahead. I think probably the main thing for me with a girl is that she's got to have the same sort of level of banter as me. We've got to be able to bounce off of each other. Sure he'll be happy to bounce off a of former Miss Wales. It's out with the bases, on with the topping, and they're back into bake. The proof is in the taste of the pudding, as they say. Um, nearly right. Time to tackle the ceviche starter. I think I'm hoping this dish sort of shows my adventurous side. Very impressive. He squeezes limes before adding red onion, the salmon, crushed garlic, diced cucumber and chopped coriander. A lot of our work goes into making a three-course meal and, yeah, I'm really hoping that she appreciates what I've gone through here. She did think fish was a risk. Hopefully, after a taste, she'll be hooked. I'm going to have the sweat to prove it at this rate. Oh, OK, well, hopefully not in that bowl. Finally, in goes cherry tomatoes and a drizzle of olive oil. 
All that's left is to knock up a guacamole to accompany his steak fajita main. Avocado mashed, in goes coriander, red onion, a squeeze of lime, and he gives it a mix. So no nerves so far, really, with regards to the date itself. I love meeting new people anyway, no matter who they are, so... As long as we have fun, we have a bit of banter going on, it'll be good. This is a date, remember, not one of the lads coming to dinner. Now, how about those cheesecakes? For a first-time effort, I don't think that's half-bad. More like half-baked. He'll sort his fajitas later. But for now, that's the prep done. Right, rest we all sorted. Time to go and get myself ready, I suppose. Fix up, look sharp. Imogen's en route and ready to be wowed. I am so nervous, but so excited to see who's going to open the hat door. I think the guy tonight might be from Mexico, because he's cooking fajitas. Um, and also, I think he plays a bit of sport, maybe a bit of football on the side. When I open that door, I'm going to be hoping that she's uh, pleasing on the eye, my type, that she's bubbly. I mean, ultimately, hopefully, that she likes me. Will the date be full of passion and Imogen bags herself a new lover? Hiya! Hello. All right, all right. <laughs> or will there just be no spark and sees him as a big brother? Today's celebrity dinner date, reality TV star Imogen Thomas, is going on three romantic dinners, each cooked by a blind date. At the end of the week, she'll take one of her dates out for a meal they haven't had to cook. But right now, she's just arrived for her first date with construction manager Chris. Oh. Hiya! Hello. You're right. Come in. <laughs> Thank, nice you. Thank you. Hi. Chris. Imogen. Mm -hmm. Nice to meet you. Oh. Just for you. Can I some flowers? Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> The evening kicks off with a glass of fizz, and it's time to get familiar. So what is it you do? I am apprentice manager, which basically means I look after some young people. I help them get themselves into working construction. Cheers, by the way. Cheers. Yeah, so what do you do? Clearly not a Big Brother fan, then. I'm a TV personality, model as well, also a mum and a swimwear designer. Mm -hmm. So how did this all happened for you then? I went on a reality show years and years ago called Big Brother and then I just pursued it from then onwards, so... So was your thing getting sort of into the limelight then, would you say? Well, well I've done all that now, to be yeah. honest. OK. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, so, not one for reality TV, but as Chris pops off to sort his starter, are they tuned in to each other? Oh, I think he's, like, a really sweet guy. I mean, like, he brought me flowers, which is so cute. I don't know if he's 100% my type, but he's got a good personality, so I'm just going to see how the day goes. Yeah, no, she's really, really nice. Um, seems quite down to earth as well, so that was nice. She's very, very attractive, very glamorous. Feeling a little bit underdressed now, but she's lovely. Beautiful. And also famous to boot. Time to impress her with his ceviche starter. Sounds all right? Yeah, really good. Let's see. Yeah, it's very garlicky, right? I'm going to stink. Yeah. I'm doing this on purpose, so when you go on your other dates... Yeah, I know. Yeah, I you just think of garlic. <laughs> Sneaky. Mmm. So I was, good. I must admit, I was really, really nervous about this dish. So why did you want to make a dish like this, then? I really like to challenge myself mm. to do something new every day, if I can. So, like, this year, I want to do a skydive. I'm so scared of heights. You've never done... Oh, really? Yeah, that would be, like, the worst thing for me. So what do you do so for want... adrenaline, then, if you want to get a bit of a, a rush? Fast cars? No. Motorbikes? No. <laughs> no, none. <laughs> Horse riding, maybe? That. Horse riding? I get a bit of a, like, yeah, yeah. Like, it would be my dream to do I'm a celeb, get me out of here. Like, it would be my dream, but I would be right. so scared to jump out of that plane. Oi! Surely celebrity dinner date's the dream. That's the whole point, is having that fear and then basically going to a point where you need to get over that fear, so just going and no, doing No, I'm never going to get over that fear, though. But you will like, if you just I'm go and do never, it. never, no. You will. Never. 
Well, it doesn't seem that they're falling for each other just yet. Thank you. So let's dive into the main for heaters. He pops chicken under the grill, gets mince on the go, adds gravy, then fries steak, peppers, and it's good to go. The piece de la resistance. He serves up with guacamole, salsa, sour cream, cheese and tortillas. Hope she's hungry. Thanks so much. I'm not going to mix them all. Do you mind if I don't? Listen, you eat it however you want to eat it. It's really good. If you horse riding, you say you don't. Mm. Any other hobbies? Gym. Socialising. <laughs> <laughs> I do bits of telework and modelling. There's always jobs that come in and... So do you actually have time in your life for a boyfriend? Oh, it's my God, a that's question, such a good question. Hopefully one with a good answer. I would make time if the right one came along, definitely. Correct. So what are you doing in your spare time? Well, I'd make once quite a bit. I was a police officer for quite some time, so like a high-response driver, which is why I like the driving side of things. I've always wanted to be a policewoman. I used to watch The Bill. Do you remember The Bill? <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was small, this programme, yeah. my mum used to be like, you can stay up and watch it and then you go straight to bed. I used to love it. I used to watch it all the time, like you. I was mm. avid The Bill fan. That's what made me want to be a copper. And then I started and I sat on the sofa and I was watching it and I was just thinking, that's wrong. That's wrong. Nothing like crushing a girl's dreams. Time for the New York-style vanilla cheesecake. A sprinkle of icing sugar, a few raspberries, and dessert is served. And dessert. Mmm. Right, dig in. Tell me what you think. OK. Really nice, really nice. Thank you. So what kind of girls do you normally go for? I, I can't pinpoint anything that's specific. Yeah. I just find someone traffic I, I do. And, it, again, that really comes in with personality as well. Okay. You get the best-looking people in the world that are, like, you know, a wet lettuce. Yeah, yeah, exactly, I know. I don't want a, a trophy on my arm or anything like that, do you know what I mean? No. And I want someone I can have a laugh with and... OK. And that, so you? Of course, I love the tall, dark and handsome. I mean, who doesn't? <laughs> do you know what I mean? But just someone who's, like, interested in me as well, mm. you know? Because, like, a lot of people would just think that they know me, but really, they don't know me. I don't mean to be rude in any way, but I... Honestly, I don't recognise you, I don't know who you are. Yeah. Apart from Imogen, who's, who's come to meet me tonight. So that's I'm so not... good for me. Thank you well, so cheers. much. Yeah. Well done. Cheers. Thank you. <laughs> cheers to being anonymous. And it's time for Imogen to do that herself, as dinner's over and the date is two. Thank you so it's much. It's really nice meeting you. Yes, you too. Thank you. I had a really good Enjoy time. Enjoy the rest of your week. Good. Thank you. See you later. Bye. Bye. So what did Imogen make of her first date? I really enjoyed my night with Chris. We got on quite well. Um, he's a bit of like an adrenaline junkie and that is like the complete opposite to me. But saying that, his personality was so good. I just thought he was an overall general sweet guy. So had an amazing evening, nice company. Got to say, dating a celebrity. She was just like any, anyone else. She was very down to earth. Didn't really make me feel any more pressure, if I'm honest with you, a date's a date. Um, I just, I just hope she enjoyed it. Imogen will be the one who decides which of her dates to take out at the end of the week, but which of them will want to go out with her. All three dates will be scoring her out of a possible three stars. So, how did Chris rate his date? So I had an absolutely lovely evening. Imogen is a really, really nice girl, got along really well. Uh, but unfortunately, she's not really into that adrenaline side of things. Just for that reason, I'm going to give her two out of three stars. So that's two stars for Imogen from Chris. There was plenty of banter and they had a blast, but he'll not get her on that motorbike anytime fast. Another day, another dinner date. And tonight is with 38-year-old customer service advisor Desmond, who's originally from the island of St Martin in the Caribbean. My friends would always describe me as the cool guy, Desmond, and the ultimate flirt as well, because they said I like to make the ladies feel special. And what type of lady does he like to get deep down and flirty with? Just looking for someone who likes to put her hair down and, you know, and just go natural, so that's always nice. Chemistry is, is one of those things I tend to look for as well. It's sort of the same thing that a woman would look in a guy I'm looking for in a, in a partner as well. Tall, dark and handsome, then? When Imogen saw Desmond's menu, she loved the sound of his Johnny Cake starter, thought his Caribbean-style chicken mane sounded fiery, but hates carrot cake. So after this Caribbean-themed evening, will they walk off hand-in-hand in hand into the sunset, or will it be a holiday from hell? Na, 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 na. Desmond kicks off with the mane, marinated roast chicken. This is a mixture of peppers, onion, garlic, celery, hot peppers in there as well, all blended together. He stuffs the chicken breasts, which are rubbed in a chicken seasoning, and marinates in pineapple juice. 
Next, he gets grating for his carrot cake dessert. This is my first blind date. Feeling a bit nervous, but I guess it will be an experience. Hopefully he can fall back on his culinary skills. I hate grating. I tend to grate my fingers more than I grate anything else. Best check for fingernails later, then. Next, he combines egg with brown sugar and vanilla essence and gives it a whisk before adding flour and the carrot. With the cake in to bake, he gets going on the icing. A mix of butter, cream cheese, icing sugar, and it's time to get whisking. Mmm, this reminds me of something. Electric toothbrush? <laughs> Whoa. Sounds the same. Cheeky. <laughs> Whoa. That's to plaster the cake, not the walls. <laughs> I could not make this up. Hmm, I'm impressed. How modest. He'll ice his cake later. Speaking of which, how's the sponge looking? I think it's ready. Definitely. Jobs are good, hmm? Back to the main. Chicken marinated, it's into the oven. And he gets going on his calypso rice. With the rice on to boil, he preps his veg. And thoughts turn to the perfect date. Meetings out somewhere in public, you know, somewhere you can grab a couple of drinks, maybe I can show some of my dance wolf, and then they'll know if I'm a keeper or not, you know. Watch out, Magic Mike, here comes Dishy Desmond. Onions and peppers on to fry, along with grated carrot, chili flakes, lemon juice, cassareep sauce, and boiled rice. Tonight I'm hoping to meet some drop dead gorgeous. Yeah, definitely. The city attraction always starts with the eyes. All right, flirty Bertie. Next, he fries plantain before checking on his chicken. On goes cassareep sauce, and it's popped back into roast. One course to go, the Johnny Cake starter. Flatbread made with corn flour, brown sugar, melted butter, and water. This is the equivalent of the five loaves and two fishes when the little kid gave Jesus his food. We would have given him Johnny Cake and, and chicken. <laughs> his biblical bread is made into rounds and onto fry. It's supposed to fluff up like a donut. And see this one's rising now? That's what it's supposed to do. They'll be served with feta salad later. And that's the prep complete. Time to get myself ready. Off you pop. Imogen's en route and in need of a gentleman. I'm hoping that there's a gorgeous, handsome man waiting there for me with a lovely bouquet of flowers. And he's just going to whisk me off to his table. Hopefully, you know, so uh, see a beautiful young lady and, you know, we'll have a good time, definitely. Somebody will play maybe I want to see again. That will be nice. Date's here. Hello. Oh, hi there. <laughs> oh, wow. Hi, Siren. Nice. Hi Jen. Nice to meet you. Imogen. Yes. Desmond. Very Desmond. nice to meet you. Yeah, I got you some chocolates. Thanks. Thank you. Come on in. Wow. <laughs> Desmond looks excited and ready to pop his cork. As the evening kicks off with champers. So where are you from? From a tiny island in the Caribbean called St. Martin. Oh, cheers. cheers. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Thank you, you too. So what is it you do? I work on an airline at um, Ethra. What, like pilot or...? I work in our premium service lounge, so oh. I, I cater to most of our um, top-tier passengers for first and business class. So used to mingling with celebrities then? I've been there, like, um, for decades now, so I feel like one of the furniture, but, you know... Just a very good looking one. So. <laughs> Not shy, is he? You're confident. <laughs> I'm okay, yeah. So, what is it you do, Imogen? I'm a TV personality, so. Really? Yeah, oh. yeah. So, I do a bit of TV and I do mm. a bit of modelling. Oh, interesting. Yeah, this is really interesting. Mm. So, what would I, should, would I have seen you on, or where would I. Um... So, I was on a reality show like 12 years ago called Big Brother. Imogen is sounding, I mean, it's ringing bells in my ear. And, for Big Brother. I'd probably have to Google it and say definitely. Yeah. Oh, right, OK. Interesting. Well, you're going to yeah. find a lot of things on Google. Oh, well, interesting, <laughs> I'm sure. Maybe best wait till she leaves before snooping around. As Desmond heads off to sort the starter, have these two found what they've been searching for? You made me laugh so much. You opened the door and you went, wow. <laughs> I think he's got a great personality and I think we can really get along. But to look at, not my type, but I'm not ruling anything out. Beautiful. If I saw her in a night out, she's the kind of girl I'd definitely approach. Finding out that Imogen's a celebrity of some sort does, does not make me um, nervous at all, no. She's just another beautiful girl that, you know, I'm hopefully looking forward to getting to know. Will Imogen fall for the charms of Desmond? Maybe have a kiss and a canoodle? 
So good. Or will he just not be her type and leave him alone for a bit of a Google? Today's celebrity dinner date, model and TV personality Imogen Thomas, is going for three blind dates, and each date is making a dinner. She's already dined with construction manager Chris. Thank you so Cheers. much. Yeah. Well done. And right now, she's just arrived for her date with customer service advisor Desmond. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> and he's about to serve up his Johnny Cake starter with a feta salad. So are these Johnny Cakes really popular in the Caribbean? They're very popular in the Caribbean. Mm, You're not just so being... good. Really? OK. Well, it's nice for me to know the things you do and don't like now, so, you know. Yeah. Next time I won't put it on. Not messing around, is he? So you're really, really confident. And it's a good trait to have. I like confident men, and they're quite sure about themselves. Do you know what's just coming to me now? What's that? These cakes, mm -hmm. they taste like Welsh cakes. Back home in Wales, we have Welsh cakes, mm -hmm. and they're just like this. Oh, wow. So you can, so it's probably the you same. can make them? Yeah, 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 I can make them, yeah. So that is what, it's just coming to me now and I just thought I better tell you because mm -hmm. that is, yeah, that's what it tastes like and that's why I love them so much. Well, di dinner's on you next time and <laughs> okay. I'm looking forward to some Welsh cake, yeah. definitely. <laughs> He's already looking forward to nibbling on a Welsh cakes, but it's time to dish up his Caribbean chicken, Calypso rice and fried plantain. Oh my God, that looks so good. Really hope you like it. Mmm, everything's like so tender, the chicken's so tender. Mm -hmm. How long have you been single? But I would say going on two years. Oh, OK. It's just finding someone that you actually get along with, you know, that you click with. Oh, the it's chemistry. So hard. It is. It's so hard, isn't it? it is. What would be, like, your chat up like to someone if you really like them? I'm more of a little bit, um... Mr. Smooth, I try to, like, see maybe if there's a bit of chemistry. I try to make eye contact, kind of like a turkey neck. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's just kind of... Um... <laughs> oh, yes. Nothing says kiss me like a good old-fashioned turkey neck. I most likely go up and, and try to introduce myself instead of just using an excuse. Well, it would be an excuse to try to meet you anyway. Mr. Long Mr. Smooth indeed. Time to sweeten her up with dessert. But as Imogen hates carrot cake, it might prove tricky. After a slather of buttercream icing, it's good to go. <laughs> you are my concoction of a carrot cake. Did you make it yourself? I made it myself. It came up pretty good. Pretty good. Yeah. It's actually quite nice. I can't really taste the carrot. Mm. Every dark cloud and all that. So do you speak any other languages? I speak Welsh. You speak yeah. Welsh? Wow, yeah. Yeah, it's quite a hard language. Should I say... Yeah, like, what would so you teach say, me in Welsh? Yeah. My name is Desmond. Yeah. It'd be the Inui or Desmond. The Inui Desmond. You Desmond. New Desmond. The Inui Desmond. What about you? Do you speak any other languages? Apart from the language of love, of course. I speak Spanish, a little bit of French. Yeah. As far as my <laughs> French goes, it's only French kissing for me. So oh, that's okay. About it. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> we don't know what to say. You make me all embarrassed. Ooh la la, Desmond. He'll have to make do with au revoir for now, though, as dinner's over and the date is too. Okay. Well, thank you so much for coming. No, thank thank you. you so much. Hopefully, I'll see you again. Yes. Thank you. Have a safe drive home. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye, Bye. So what did Imogen make of her date? I really enjoyed tonight. I think Desmond's a great guy. His personality just outshone. We had some really good chemistry between us. I really enjoyed myself. Imogen's, uh, I trust she was very beautiful. She definitely ticked all the boxes there. 
I still have no idea who she is. She didn't carry herself like she's famous, but um, it was just a great date. So how many stars will Desmond give Imogen? I thought the date was fantastic. She's a lovely personality and, and, and very chatty. And I'd give Imogen three stars. So that's three stars for Imogen from Desmond. He charmed her from the moment she arrived, perhaps a little overzealous. She thought there was some chemistry, so let's not rule out any tonsil tennis. Imogen's third and final date is with 36-year-old business intelligence manager and semi-professional musician Nick, who finds the globe-trotting life of a rock star tough on the old love life. It's extremely hard to meet people on tour. Normally, if you meet people, you've already left that city or state. And also, on home turf, uh, it's quite hard to have a, uh, a relationship with a girl who knows that you're going to be out of the country or very busy most of the time. Nick's been single for two years, so what type of girl would he like to duet with? Martin McCutcheon, um, in, in Love Actually, she's just like what I go for normally, just a sweet English rose, but someone who can make you laugh as well. How about a Welsh rose? When Imogen saw Nick's menu, she loved his fish cake starter, and his Thai chicken mane certainly got her drums banging. She guessed he was a singer, so will this rock star's menu hit all the right notes, or will it just fall flat? Nick kicks off with the sweet chilli sauce to accompany his fish cake starter. He pops white wine vinegar on the heat, adds sugar before giving red chilli, garlic and fresh ginger a whiz in the blender. I've never done a blind date in my life. Um, it's just not something that has interested me too much. Um, the dates I prefer, actually, with big groups of people. Yeah, that's kind of my ideal date, really. Big groups? Very rock and roll. <coughs> it's beautiful. Bit spicy. His date will like that. Chilli sauce set aside. Next, he moves on to the fish cakes. Into the blender goes garlic, red chilli, fresh ginger, and he gives it a whiz before adding cod, egg, lime juice, fish sauce, and red curry paste. Oh, no, that looks good. Finally, in goes coriander before a quick mix. He makes them into patties, and thoughts turn to tonight's date. I just hope she can have a conversation. That's the, that's the biggest thing that um, I want to get out from the date tonight. As long as we have a, have a nice time, some wine, yeah, I think it should be a success. Fish cakes left to firm up. Next, he gets going on the main, Thai chicken curry. The sauce is coconut milk, peanut butter, red curry paste, ground ginger, lime juice, brown sugar, garlic, chicken stock and red chilli flakes. It's popped in the slow cooker along with chicken breasts. Please be on. <laughs> One course to go, dessert, chocolate and orange ganache with a splash of rock and roll rum. First up, time to get banging. <laughs> it gets really hot living in a house made of glass. Well, at least I don't have to uh, try and melt it for long. Never mind smashing it, you've already ganached it. Let's just forget this bit ever happened and that the end result is going to look exactly how it's supposed to. He pops over the heat and thoughts turn to what type of girl he thinks is a hottie. Someone who doesn't take themselves too seriously and preferably someone who won't tell me if she finds gold bits of foil in her chocolate ganache. Just call it gold leaf and she'll be well impressed. In goes single cream, butter, sea salt and the rum. It's popped into espresso cups and into chill and that's the prep complete. I think that's everything done. It's time to put my face on. Go dig out those leathers. Imogen's on her way and ready for a rock star. I think this guy tonight is in some kind of band. Um, just from the clues on the menu, it totally sounded like he's a performer. But I wonder if he's going to serenade me. I'm just, I'm just looking forward to see what this night brings, really. I've got some nerves. I'm not sure what I'm nervous for, whether it's for um, my, uh, my food or whether we're going to be able to have a conversation with each other. Ideal scenario behind the door. Be Martin McCutcheon standing there. Let's do this. Hi! How are you Hi. doing? My name's Imogen. I'm Nick. Pleasure mm -hmm. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Please come in. To start the evening, lychee cocktails. Here we go, Imogen, one oh. lychee cocktail. So, lychee's my favourite. Cheers. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really, really nice, yeah. Okay, it's a lot more where it came from. <laughs> so what do you do? 
In the daytime, I'm a little bit of a geek. Um, I'm what's called a business intelligence manager. In the evenings and weekends and any time I can get off from work, then I'm a semi-professional musician. So cool. What about you? What do you do? I'm a TV personality, so I do, like, bits and bobs on the telly and a model as well. Hey, wow. You sound busy. Very busy. <laughs> Time for musician Nick to also get busy and sort out his starter. As he fries his fish cakes, are these two making each other's hearts sing? I think he's a really sweet guy, but he's extremely nervous. I think when I said what I'd done, I think he thought, oh yeah, I think I know who she is. <laughs> um, but he never really let on, but I think he, I think he did, definitely. I think I recognise her. Like, I'm sure I recognise her of, of some programme or something. It's just not the sort of genre that I would watch if it's who I'm thinking it actually is. But she's absolutely stunning. Um, so, yeah, just can't wait for the rest of the meal. Rock on! With the fish cake sizzling away, a quick check on the sweet chilli sauce. I don't think it's supposed to be that thick. Um, but I'm prepared for this. Shop bought chilli sauce it is. Starter is served. Right, I'm going to have the ones which are falling to pieces, which you won't want to see. I know. Thank you so much. It's like, prank me once you've tasted it. I'm not sure. It smells so good, though. Let's dig in. It's actually really good. Like, oh, like wow. This. Yeah. So what's your life like? Are you up to, like, all hours? Cos, obviously, you know, you're in a band and... It's, it's definitely a misconception that um, half of my friends think that... It's party, 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 but I tell you what, I just love coming home and just sticking on a movie. So what's your typical Saturday night? I have an Indian takeaway and watch The X Factor or Burn <laughs> Hotel and whatever's on. That is my typical Saturday night and my friend would come round. We just enjoy it so much. Definitely. No makeup on, hair up, Save loads of money. Oh, yeah, it's just definitely. like, honestly, people think that my life is so glamorous and it's like the opposite. I love like... a non-glamorous life. So if there's ever a rest or Saturday or Sunday that I can go and have breakfast without a hangover and like yeah, nine o'clock so down good. the road, it's so like I just yeah. sat there with my like poached eggs, it's like this is a life. <laughs> yeah. X Factor followed by a full English. Cheap dates these two. Time for the main. Thai chicken curry served with sticky white rice. I hope it's going to taste it a lot better than it looks. I've gone for the kind of rustic charm. I'll let you know. I <laughs> God, I'm scared. It's lovely. Really good. Good. I'm glad. So how long have you been single? About two years, which is probably the longest I've been single. Um, it's kind of coincided with trying to take music more seriously. But you, you're in the public eye, you must be doing a lot of, of stuff. Like, how do you hold down relationships? No, it's pretty hard. So I've just come out of, like, a long-term relationship. So I'm just, like, so rusty right now. Like, <laughs> you know, this is... I haven't even dated in so long. And... Do you enjoy going on dates? Was it something you enjoyed to do? I can't remember. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. It's been so long, I can't even remember. Hang on. Forgotten those two dates already this week. What do you reckon's next for you, then? I'm really happy with everything I've, I've achieved so far. Okay. I mean, I never thought, like, coming out of the Big Brother house, like, 12 years ago, that I'd be still working That's where now. You're from. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah, right, so yeah. it's Big Brother 12 <laughs> years ago. The penny's finally dropped. Do you still manage to get that perpetual work off Big Brother? Well, just from being me now, really. It's mad. Okay. Because if you do a show like that now, you wouldn't be working in 10 years' time no, now, no, no, you know? No, not so. At all. I've definitely done it at the right time, yeah. definitely. Well, before it's time to be evicted from this house, there's still one last course to go. Boozy chocolate and orange ganache, just a topping of chocolate chips, and dessert is ready. So here's my version of a chocolate ganache, apparently. <laughs> Dig in. I can't taste the rum. Can you not? Wow. No. Whatever, it's nice. He's hitting the right notes with his pod. Talk then turns to embarrassing tales. I've fallen off stage before, and then suddenly, like, 4,000 people just bang. see me just <laughs> bang straight in front of the stage. <laughs> but um, I, think it, I think if you own it and, you're, and you're not, like, really horrified by yourself Yeah, if you it, just, like, take, like, the mickey of yourself, then it's absolutely fine. What's the most embarrassing thing that's ever happened to you? You know when those bus stop, like, glasses get cleaned and they look so clean? <laughs> And I've literally, like, proper just power walking the next minute, bang. <laughs> that has happened to me. And that's no not way. only happened to me once, that's happened to me a couple of times. Well, fortunately, a taxi's booked for tonight as a precautionary measure and the meter's running, so chop, chop. Oh, and be careful on those stairs! 
Thank you so much for coming. I hope it wasn't too bad for you. No, it was lovely. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. So what did Imogen make of her third and final date? So Nick was a really nice guy. Our conversation was flowing. We never really had any awkward moments, which is a good thing. Um, he's talented as well, which is really good to know. Overall, I had a good night. When I saw Imogen, absolutely beautiful. I can't help thinking we, we come from two polar opposite uh, places in the world. I can't say anything but amazing words about her. She was, she was adorable. So how did Nick rate his date? Imogen was an amazing date to have around. She's beautiful. We didn't have too much in common, so for that, I'd probably give her two stars. So that's two stars for Imogen from Nick. They didn't have much in common, but he still thought she was a beauty. Maybe opposites will attract and he'll choose her over his groupies. The dinners have been eaten and the dates are done and dusted. Now Imogen must decide which one of our tempting trio she wants to see again. Who will she be taking out for a romantic meal? And who will be eating in alone? Today's celebrity dinner date, model and TV personality Imogen Thomas has just finished three days of back-to-back -back blind dates. Now it's time for her to decide who she wants to see for seconds over a romantic meal for two at a top restaurant. Imogen's first date was with construction manager Chris. Hiya. And it was a blooming good start. He gave me a bunch of flowers, and I just thought that was the most sweetest thing ever. Yeah. Got you some flowers. Oh, thank you so much. So when Chris found out that I do a bit of TV work, um, he wasn't really surprised, to be honest. He was just carrying on like normal, which is absolutely fine by me. Obviously, I don't recognise you. I don't know who you are. I, I just learned that he's a bit of, like, an adrenaline junkie. I'm, like, the opposite. Fast cars? No. Motorbikes? No. No. He had a great personality, the conversation did flow. Overall, a really nice guy. Chris gave Imogen two stars. Really nice meeting you. Yes, you too. But will she be back for seconds of him? <laughs> Date number two was with 38-year-old customer service advisor Desmond. Hello. Oh, hi there. Oh, wow. <laughs> Who provided a complimentary service. When Desmond opened the door, his first reaction was, Wow, and it really made me laugh. I just knew that we were going to get on. Wow. <laughs> I love confident guys, and he pretty much was shooting about himself, put it that way. I feel like one of the furniture, but, you know, just a very good-looking one, so... <laughs> <laughs> During our meal, we talked a bit of Welsh together, and I was trying to teach him a little bit. The Inui Desmond. Um, but, yeah, he didn't really get on well with that. As far as my French go, it's only French kissing for me. So oh, that's OK. About it. Yep. <laughs> Desmond wouldn't be the type of guy that I would go for, looks-wise, but I loved his personality. Desmond gave Imogen three stars, but will she be on his doorstep tonight? Hi. Hi. <laughs> How are you Hi. doing? My name's Imogen. Imogen's third and final date was with 36-year-old business intelligence manager and semi-professional musician Nick. And it didn't get off to a rock and roll start. When I first saw Nick, one thing I noticed was the fact that he was just so nervous. He definitely recognised me, and that made him even more nervous. Really, really nice, yeah. Okay. It's a lot more where it came from. 
Although Nick lives like the rock and roll lifestyle, really deep down, that's not him. He loves a night on the sofa, which is what I love. So we definitely get along in that way. Half my friends think that it's party, 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 but I tell you what, I just love coming home and just sticking on a movie. Nick is like a really cool guy. He held a conversation well, which is what I like. He's got this naturally smiley face. Just can't help but just laugh along with him, really. Nick gave Imogen two stars, but will she be back for more of him? Imogen's three dinner dates are all getting scrubbed up and ready to go, but only one of them will have romance knock on their door. Not really feeling nervous, what will be will be. Get to go out on a date, get have a nice, uh, nice bit of food, nice drink and all that. Uh, if I don't, then I'll be down the pub with the lads. Feeling excited, you know, I've come this far, so... Um, definitely looking forward to whatever the outcome. Anyone would be lucky to go on a date with us, but if not, I've got a couple of gig tickets for tonight, so I'm in a bit of a win-win situation either way, to be honest. Imogen's on her way to take someone out for a meal they haven't had to cook. The other two will be eating in alone. <laughs> Here we go. Results. Nice. The sun, my favorite. That leaves one man who's cooked his way to a romantic meal for two. <laughs> no way. Would you like to come for a second day? I would love to. Wow. <laughs> and these are for you. Thank you so much. I'll just put them down here and then we can get going. Imogen and Nick are off for a candlelit dinner. Absolutely gobsmacked, but delighted as well. So why did you pick me? We didn't have any awkward moments, which is so good. And, and I'd like to get to know you a bit better, so I thought, why not? Pick Amazing. you. Brilliant. <laughs> Romance might be on the menu for Imogen and Nick. But for Chris and Desmond, it's a night in and a ready meal for one. I'm not really disappointed at all, but a decent night out with the lads now, so I'm going to go down and, uh, and get on the old uh, sauce and have a good night out and pull something else. I'm a little gutted, but I always leave room for a uh, disappointment, if anything. Really hope she genuinely finds the right guy. I wish her the best, definitely. Yes, to a good night. Can't wait. I'm really enjoying myself. I think Nick is definitely the right choice for me. Oh, thank, thank you. you. I think we have a lot more in common than the other two guys. Do you go to any like festivals or anything nowadays? I like the festivals that probably you would hear, like Love Box. The second date with Imogen is going amazing. The conversation's flowing. It's a lot more chilled out than it was yesterday with me flapping around trying to uh, cook a meal. So what would you normally cook on a like, day-to-day basis? Just get one of the like, really nice ready meals. Like, really? <laughs> I'm not sure if anything would develop from this, but we're just from two different lives, really. I don't think we're going to be exchanging numbers by the end of the day, because um, he's really not my type, but I wish him the best of luck and I hope he finds a girlfriend soon.